Good afternoon. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, I wanted to just uh, go over again the apparatus here for this uh, water drop triggered uh, spark gap experiment. Uh, there, of course, is the water dripping out of the drip nozzle. And uh, there's the support, there's the black tube, there's the little valve to control the flow. And the tube goes down to a pond pump inside the water. So this started out with clean water, and now you can see it's kind of getting all yucky in there. It's probably uh, nitric acid by now. Uh, and there's the spark chamber, and I've got the water droplets dripping down right between the drops, between the electrodes of the spark chamber and falling all the way through the chamber and uh, dripping into the water there. And the uh, spark gap electrodes are hooked up to um, the flyback transformer, which I've put inside a plastic jar just for safety. I will be filling that jar with mineral oil as soon as the sealants dry um, on the feed holes and ditto this little capacitor bank here. That's, uh, that capacitor bank can be either two nanofarads at 60 kilovolts or four nanofarads at 30 kilovolts. It's 10 of those 30 kV 400 picofarad capacitors in a series parallel stack and I've got it set up so that I can use either uh, either 10 in parallel or two series five parallel. Okay, and there the wire is coming out. Right now it's not hooked up. Um, it's not in the circuit. And then over here is the flyback driver. Uh, and that's hooked up down there to the power supply, which is going to be giving it 18 volts. And what I'm going to do first is just turn the thing on and let the <coughs> Let the uh, uh, let, a, let a droplet trigger the gap, and uh, you'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. Switching on now. Okay, so a drop falls through there, and uh, it immediately triggers a little snap, a tiny little snap, and then you get the power arc happening, and we have about five amps of draw into the oscillator there. Okay, so that's a hot little arc but it's a quiet arc and the uh, subsequent drops are just falling right through it as you can see and hitting the water okay and now I'm going to turn it off again and then what I'm going to do is hook up that capacitor bank as a 4 nanofarad capacitor bank I've got it shorted out right now so let me make sure there's no residual charge on the flyback by bridging it with this nice handy screwdriver. Now I'm going to put the 4 nanofarad cap bank in the circuit by clipping it to the positive lead right there. Okay. Now watch what happens uh, in the spark gap when I turn on the driver. Okay, so you can tell there's a lot more energy now in each spark, but the spark extinguishes and uh, goes out pretty quickly. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, regulate the droplet flow by opening that little valve. Okay, now I've turned it off. Now I'm slowly opening it again. Constant stream through there, 
And now the gap is just shorting out. Now I'll turn it back down until we get some droplets again. This valve is actually designed just to be an on-off valve, so it's kind of tricky to get it to regulate down to the smaller drop rates. All right. Uh, now I'm going to discharge the residual power on a cap. Put it back to a short circuit through the camp here. All right. Thank you for watching.